I'm trying to explain uh, what Think One is or what it's supposed to be about. And and I sit there and I imagine that we live in a day and age where I remember it blew my mind when I saw Tupac perform again. I was like, 2012, Tupac's back, resurrection. But uh, if I don't hasn't seen it on YouTube, uh, type it down, uh, Tupac hologram. So after I saw that, the initial thought that popped into my head, I was like, wow, if we're capable of doing that, why not just gather some of the most inspirational, prolific musicians, speakers, um, bands, and, and have a festival where we unite on the soil that we came from. Imagine sitting there in the last day of the festival, you know, Damien Marley and Kanon and Nas just finished singing Africa Must Wake Up and then all of a sudden the lights go dark and the silence just rushes over everything and then you hear the footsteps and then you see the face and you sit there and you're looking at Martin Luther King. Every nation Africa. must now develop an overriding loyalty to mankind as a whole in order to preserve the best in their individual societies. This calls for a worldwide fellowship that lifts the neighborly concern beyond one's tribe, race, class, and nation is in reality a call for all embracing unconditional love for all men. This often misunderstood and misinterpreted concept so readily dismissed by the Nietzsche's of the world as a weak and cowardly force has now become an absolute necessity for the survival of mankind. That's the dream, is to have a festival where we can just come back and celebrate you know, as a human race, not as divided creeds or tribes, but one race.